Alright, so after a while of thinking, I decided to tell the story of how I got hacked. It's been a long time since I've done any of these story time videos, so please just bear with me. This started around the 17th of July or sometime around there. I was playing Minecraft alone and then I got a friend request from some guy. For reasons that I will say, I will not tell you his name because I don't want anyone going out to witch hunt or anything of that sort. Just be aware of people who have the same mentality as him. This guy asked me to play Skywars with him after I accepted his request. I wanted to play duels, but since I'm a nice guy, I decided to go play with him. Duels wasn't as important as hanging out with people, is what I would tell myself. A few minutes into the game, I just started to get some lag. Like, really bad lag. You all know that my PC is terrible, so I wasn't lying or making any excuses or anything of that sort. PC is so terrible, it's become a meme at this point. He decided to take it upon himself to put his plan into action. He told me some sort of high pixel client and that it will boost my FPS as it is with him. Now, you see, I study computer in school and I know not to believe stuff like this. But somehow morals just get the better of me. And also, I know there's a bunch of Minecraft clients that could help boost my FPS. So I told him I'll give it a try and then added him on Discord. He sent me the link to download and told me to launch it. See, this is where red flags start appearing. The link to the program was posted on the same day as I got the link. This means that he only added the link a few minutes before sending it. Also meaning that he uploaded the file a few minutes just before sending it. I disregarded that and decided to run the program. It was about to run, it asked me permission to run, but then my antivirus started acting up. This was the second red flag. After a few tries, I told him I would give up and just try again later. Later that night, I downloaded Hyperion for the first time and noticed that my game ran much smoother using it so thanks to the developers of the program, even if that wasn't your main intention for it. The next day was the day I would try to run the program. We got into a call and I didn't talk or anything, we were just typing. I shared my screen for the first 20 minutes, just so we could figure this out, until he told me to disable my antivirus. That was the third and final red flag. After doing this, I ran the program. After running the program, my desktop started to get slower. So I restarted it. I was getting notifications from my phone and my passwords and emails were changing, so I reverted them back. Well, I let my brother use the computer for a small while, since we do that now, we switch every now and then. Also, to add to the third red flag, he asked me to log into my email. He also knew what was on my screen without me sharing it. After about 30 minutes, my brother started freezing in his game complained to me and asked me to fix it. So I did. I logged into Discord, but my connection was slow. That's when I started talking to A about the lag and the fact that I knew I was being hacked. I wasn't that stupid. Everything started to piece together like a puzzle. It seemed like paranoia at first until my internet disabled itself and I was sending messages to Discord without me typing anything. He said he was that he was burning my router and he also cursed A using my account. I knew this because my router enabled itself again and I was able to view the messages. I tried to send for help, but they ended up just blocking it. I quickly enabled my antivirus, but it was too late. He changed all my passwords and struck quickly and quietly. I had to get my YouTube channel back after it being deleted as well as change all my passwords. All that was gone was the Minecraft account. You know, honestly, I don't care about the Minecraft account anymore, since Mojang or Microsoft or whoever owns a game doesn't seem to care about their community. I mean, it is very suspicious that someone will be able to log in almost instantaneous while another person was using it at the same time. Let's be honest. With you. The main point is that over $200 worth in a Minecraft account was taken. That was the money for my cape, 
that was the money for my VIP round. And that was just the minimum amount. Could be more because I have had this account for over three years. And he could be selling it for around that price. I just want you to know to be aware of scams like this. Don't be like me. Trust friends that have been known for a really long time and disregard those who try to give you things too early into your friendship. Real true friends would not do something like that. This is all I have to say for now in terms of the story. I would like you to subscribe to Jatini YT for providing me with the clips in the background right here. Like this video if you enjoyed, share it if you made to warn others and subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I don't mind what you do as long as you get the message around. My, my new Minecraft account is named Steelixer. S-T-E-A-L-I-X-O-R. Steelixor. And I'm going to be using that account from now on until I can rename it to X Flame Ninja. You can friend me. I'm starting over again with this account. Hoping to have a better time with this one. For all those friends who've had me for over the years and you know to know about the Minecraft account being on, there. Here's the here's the new account so you can add me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just give it a like if you want to. Subscribe if you choose to. Share if you desire to. And goodbye.